The monitoring of corridor and border post performance has been taken to a new level with the launch of the North-South Corridor Monitoring System. The system creates meaningful supply chain intelligence from raw GPS tracking data sourced from participating regional transport companies. Once logged in, the system opens on the Border Post Trends dashboard. The Map Viewer can be accessed by clicking on the Map Viewer button. In the Map Viewer, geozones are applied to areas of interest, for example border posts and capitals, and the time trucks spend in these geozones are used for analysis. Users can track the actual GPS locations of a single truck on a journey, tracking its movement through areas of interest or geozones. The truck shown in the following example traveled from Harare through Churundu One Stop Border Post to Lusaka. To access this option, click on the Filter button. You can now select any date range, any transporter and any vehicle to track. The route shown in this example represents the actual movement of this vehicle from Harare to Lusaka and then onwards up to the last location it was recorded in the specified time period. Users can zoom in on any area of interest for this journey. For example, we can zoom in on Turundu to see detail of different border areas. The time the vehicle reports on its georeference points is used to analyse the border post's performance. Besides the map viewer, there are also a number of other reports available to users. To access these, go to the Reports section and select, for example, the Border Post Trends report. Here, data from a large sample of trucks is analysed in order to compute the average border crossing times at major border crossings along the North-South Corridor network. Users can filter to view results for a specific border post. Currently, options include Bitebridge, Chirundu, Kasumbalesa, Kazungula and Martins Drift. You can choose Chirundu One Stop Border Post to view its report. These two graphs show the average border crossing time for the selected border post, in our case Chirundu, allowing users to see trends over time. The graph on the left in green shows trends for southbound traffic, in this case from Zambia to Zimbabwe. There are a number of user options, including exporting data to Excel or printing a PDF. The graph on the right in blue shows trends for northbound traffic, in this case Zimbabwe to Zambia. The tables below the graphs give additional information about border crossing times. This includes the number of observations, the minimum and maximum crossing time, the median border crossing time, as well as the standard deviation. This provides valuable context for the average border crossing time data provided in the graphs above. In addition to the Border Post Trends dashboard, there are a number of other reports available. These can be accessed from the Reports button. Available dashboards include Trends on origin to destination pairs along the corridor, comparison of where time is spent at the various nodes along the corridor, and a report that shows the trend of the average time spent driving between different nodes. These reports can be accessed by clicking on them. For more information on this and other trade tools, please visit the TMSA website at www.trademarksa.org.